Hello, you're watching New Vision TV News around Uganda with me, Ruth Inasidi. These are the stories making news across the country. We start off with the Uganda Human Rights Commission chairperson, Medica Gua, who passed on yesterday, will be buried today at his ancestral home in MPJ. The human rights activists is said to have collapsed from his car at Mulago Roundabout while on his way to work. His family revealed that the 64-year-old had been battling pressure. Moving on, a diplomat, a dog lover, shoe collector, that is how the incoming U.S. ambassador to Uganda, Natalie Brown, describes herself on Twitter. Brown is expected to take over office from Deborah Malik, who has been the U.S. top diplomat in Uganda since February 27th, 2016. When contacted yesterday, the U.S. mission in Kampala said Brown is posting to Uganda await approval of the U.S. Senate. Phil Dimo, the mission spokesperson, stated in an email to the New Vision that although President Trump has nominated Brown to be the next U.S. ambassador to Uganda, the nomination must be confirmed by the U.S. Senate, which has not yet occurred. Now, until such time, they cannot and will not speculate on her arrival in Uganda, nor will they comment further about her. Brownie's service record indicates that she holds vast experience as a senior foreign service officer in Africa and the Middle East. She has served as the chief of mission of the U.S. Embassy in Asmara, Eritrea since 2016. Prior to that, she served as a deputy permanent representative and deputy chief of mission of the U.S. mission in the U.N. agencies in Rome, Italy from 2013 to 2016. According to a certificate of demonstrated competence submitted to the U.S. Senate for her nomination to the position, Brown also served as a deputy chief of mission of the U.S. Embassy to, in Tunis, Tunisia from 2010 to 2013. Yes, now watching New Vision TV News with me, Ruth and I said, you take a break as we look at what is making news in today's copy of the New Vision. Now, for those who cannot access the hard copy of the New Vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e-paper and access all the products published by Vision Group. You're still watching New Vision TV News around Uganda with me, Ruth and I said, we continue looking at more stories making news across the country. Now, the recent trade at the Forum for Democratic Change offices in Ajanankumbi, where a number of items were taken, has proven that three monitors are missing. Some of the items that were taken from the premises include computers where the police managed to retrieve at least four CPUs and one monitor. As the police continue to carry out investigations, the police spokesperson in Kampala, Luke Oesjeda, said some of the items have not yet been retrieved. The offices that were broken into include the office of the Secretary General and the Electoral Commission. The suspect, Dan Ujuka, who was arrested was an employee at the FDC offices as the security guard, but also acted as an office messenger. Ojuka was tracked down by the security dog. OSGD said investigations are still going on basing on the evidence that was collected yesterday from the crime scene. Closing of news this hour is a story from Mitiana district where over 20 Catholic priests excited Mitiana town when they left their parish compounds onto the streets where they had a bicycle expedition. The event officially launched the 38 years of Chiyinda Mitiana Diocese, which will be marked on the decision day this Sunday at the decision cathedral. The cyclists included mostly priests who hail from parishes in Mwera Dinery, 
which is the which is organizing the dinery this year. Now the dinary has three parishes of Chengeza, Busubizi and Mwera. That is all I had for you this morning. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch my news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website which is newvision.co.ug forward slash video. You can also follow us on social media. Facebook is The New Vision. Twitter is at New Vision Wire. Instagram is at New Vision Wire. And our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Ruth The Voice. Thank you for watching.